I think we should just quit this and get some frozen espresso martinis. If there are perhaps men there. I'm so excited to date again. That is my favorite pastime. Dating in LA is so much harder. The guys in New York, they're straightforward, they go after you, and they're not afraid to approach a girl, which I really appreciate. Don't you feel like you want to get back on the horse as well? Oh, hell no. I am in my summer of no men. I'm still writing my book. I'm excited to explore and not be tied down to anything. My mom and I had a little conversation about this. And since then, everything's just been really relaxing. I'll just live vicariously through Sistine. She's been out of the dating scene for the last four centuries. She needs to get out there, fail, kiss, break up, make up. I text her constantly. I'm always asking her how she's feeling about the guys. I'm just so excited. It's like my own little reality show in my apartment. When we were single, how many dates did we realistically go in LA? A lot. You did. I was home every night. I gotta get out there. I wanna have romantic kisses in the rain. I wanna get home at two in the morning. I want to get dressed up. I wanna put on a push-up bra. I wanna feel sexy. I wanna do it all. And I didn't do that. And I'm freaking 25. I'm in my mid-20s. I lost my mojo. I mostly do boxing. I'm sure your father taught you uh, how to throw a punch well. It was actually every morning before school. What's your zodiac sign? So I'm a cancer. Um, I'm a Virgo. Oh man, you're a Virgo. All of my exes were cancer men. Who yeah. says that we're not compatible? You're psychic? My sister and my dad. Now, if it's not too much to ask, I'd love if you and your father could sign them. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Sign a glove, really. I'm dating a fan of my dad's. Again, this is great. Do you want to date me or slide? If there was a way for me I didn't write a lot, I guess, because yeah, the biggest impact. impact. Kind of I didn't write a lot. 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 I didn't how was it? Oh, no. No. I think this is going to be a good one. I don't know. I feel like I'm tired, Sophia. I feel oh, yeah. like this pile of trash right now. You've been on just a dating bender right now. Dating with the last name Stallone has never been easy. I think it's hard to trust guys' intentions going into it in the beginning. You never really know if someone's dating you for you. I mean, in my perfect world, I'd love to go into a situation when no one knew my name at all. You know what's so annoying is when they kind of give away one thing about them that you're just like, I can't do it. I know, and it's like, so nice. I have an idea, but I don't want you to kill me. Hear me out. There's a guy named Harrison. And when we had our podcast, he reached out and he said that you guys would be perfect for his show called Updating. And it's a live dating show. Huh? And I said, it better be for you. Updating has incredible possibilities. First off, you're all blindfolded, so you can't judge someone on looks like a dating app. Two, you have to actually have some chat, banter, and personality. You can't just run on those pretty blue eyes. And three, no one knows that she's a Stallone, so they're just gonna fall in love with her for her. You go on three, basically two or three, live blind dates on stage. What do you stage. mean by like live, live? Like audience, you're blindfolded because in they front choose... of the audience. No, no, listen, listen. This is so unexpected from her because this is something I would do to her.